Last week, Governor Ron DeSantis passed a bill and he has now signed it that essentially prevents local governments from protecting their workers. Now, they would in if they chose to pass certain laws that offer additional protections for workers, well, that now needs to be repealed. It cannot go into effect based on this new state law that Ron DeSantis has signed. And it really has to do with things like increasing minimum wage or offering protections like, you know, breaks if the workers happen to work outdoors in the heat. So here's what you need to know. Under House Bill 433, local governments will no longer be able to set a minimum wage higher than what the minimum wage is in the state of Florida or meet or provide heat exposure requirements not otherwise required under state or federal law. Now this bill goes into effect on July 1st and here are some more details about who it's going to impact. Around 2 million people in Florida, 2 million people in Florida work in outdoor jobs from construction to agriculture, according to the Union of Concerned Scientists. On average, the state's summer can reach up to 95 degrees, but don't be fooled by that. Yes, that's hot, but consider the humidity and blazing sun making it feel well over 100 at times. I should know, I've experienced the heat in Florida, I've experienced the humidity in Florida. Sometimes it feels like you're walking into a shower, that's how hot it is. Now, uh, um, the those two million people, by the way, make up a whopping 23% of the workforce in Florida. And the Bureau of Labor Statistics uh, has recorded hundreds of heat related worker deaths in the US. Uh, for instance, 436 between 2011 and 2021. But don't be fooled by that number because it's a very narrow interpretation of heat related deaths. It only pertains to heat strokes. Uh, consumer advocacy organization Public Citizen estimates that the real number is actually closer to 2,000 workers uh, dead and more than 100,000 injured from heat related issues each year. Pausing here to deliver some honest truth as we do in our news coverage as well. TYT is facing challenges, guys, as the entire industry is. You know who could make the difference? You. If you hit the join button below, it's gonna make all the difference and keep us in business. We appreciate you, thank you. What's crazy about this, Jenk, is the way this case kind of came about or why, why this situation came about is because there was a, a farm worker and uh, there was you know, a company that wanted to give farm workers just short breaks as they're working in the heat, just so they cool down and they don't get ill. Mm -hmm. And apparently that's a bridge too far for lawmakers, Republican lawmakers in the state of Florida, which overwhelmingly passed this bill. I should note, not a single Democrat voted in favor. One Democrat was absent and did not vote. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it's just so interesting because what tends to get the most attention and it's positive attention from Ron DeSantis is some of the bills that he passes pertaining to social issues or like last week, what I gave him credit for, signing a bipartisan bill that solved the squatter problem that they're having in Florida, right? Which I wish other states would look into. But this is not something that's getting a lot of attention even though it impacts nearly a quarter of the workforce in Florida. Yeah. So uh, this story has two parts to it that I find interesting. One is corporate rule, we'll come back to that in a second because it's the most important. But first, let's talk about the hypocrisy here. So let's get this right. Uh, my whole life, conservatives have been saying local rights, man, local control is so important because it's our communities that have to make the decision. We don't care about states rights because we wanna discriminate against black people, no. We care about states rights on principle. And local school boards, the more local you get, the better. So All states, politics are local. Yes, state uh, states should have more rights than the federal government. And the local jurisdictions should have the most rights because that's the most connected to the community. And I don't want my school board filled with these liberal, woke ideology, etc. Local control. Unless there's blue cities in red states, mm -hmm. then all of a sudden, every Republican votes for screw local control. Terrible local control, trying to protect their civilians inside the cities. Boo, we hate local control. Fact, indisputable fact. So, so let me, and it's important to also discuss the motivating factors behind this legislation because 
I mean, I think it's obvious, but it's also important to know exactly who's behind this legislation. And I remembered the details incorrectly, so let me just give you the exact details for why this case came about, why this legislation came about. Let's go to graphic four. So the Miami Herald reported that the Miami Dade proposal was, by the way, meant to give farm workers 10 minute breaks in the shade every two hours. It was watered down from its original intention of ensuring water and mandated breaks for half the year to only be effective for five days a year on average with no fines after a concerted lobbying effort from Florida's politically influential agriculture and real estate industry. Oh, Really, who would have guessed? It yeah. turns out corrupt politicians took donor money from real estate and farming interests to make sure there's no damn breaks for those stupid workers. Now there's a million issues in this country that get blown up into national controversies. What dress is an M&M wearing? What gender is Mr. Potato Head or is it Mrs. Potato Head? We gotta figure that out. A trans student meddled and they took the biological girl's medal away. There's two or three of those in the country. No one got hurt, but that's like a massive national issue. And we have to pass dozens of laws in the states against that. At a bare minimum, 436 workers dead because of this issue. And no one gives a damn. Because we live under corporate rule. Yeah, and this right? is something, this this new law, which again goes into effect on July 1st, is going to impact literally millions of workers in the state of Florida. And especially Florida with that humidity that Anna's talking about. I, I lived in Florida for three years, Southern Florida. Oh my God, to take no breaks there, it's endangering people's lives. So like when you do it in the case of athletics, they had to mandate breaks in football practices, etc. Because kids started dying, right? So imagine if you're doing back breaking work on a farm or in construction. And now to the other part of the hypocrisy, the Republican politicians talk a big popular scheme. Oh, we're against woke this and woke that and we're against the elites and we're for the average guy. And they're like, yeah, go ahead, kill the average guy. He's working in construction, who cares? Where's my check? Where's my check? Okay, guys, we live under corporate rule. DeSantis doesn't work for you. He doesn't care about right wing, left wing. He doesn't care about woke, anti woke. All he cares about is the goddamn checks. Did they clear? Agriculture industry, real estate industry, your checks cleared. You gave me big, big checks and you gave it to all of my fellow corrupt Republicans. Great. Kill anyone you like, okay? They don't need any stinking water break in Florida, okay? Heat, what heat in Florida? Kill anyone you like as long as the check's clear. And here, credit to the Democrats. Oftentimes we tell you on the show, they play good cop, bad cop with us. We tell you the problems with the Democrats and the Republicans, but here are the Democrats stepping up and fighting for the average worker in their state. And here are the Republicans, Republicans spitting in the face of the average man in Florida and saying, our giant corporate donors are so much more valuable than your life. If you enjoy this video, that's because of our members. They make us independent, they make us strong, and they make us honest. Become a member today by hitting the join button below.